Celtics, they let one slip away at home. You know they're desperate to regain the advantage. Yes, they are, but let's also credit their opponent. This matchup has looked more even than many people expected. They're going to have to play their best ball to win tonight here on the road. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. White and Brown with the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Al Horford. And it's Holiday in a point guard. Boy, you have got to appreciate how hard Jalen Brown goes. Amazing how he gets defenders to foul him when he's going up with his shot. down the first one. You have to admire the growth of Jalen Brown. He comes in as an attacking athlete. He's now a better passer and he absolutely is a knockdown three-point shooter. And both free throws good for Brown. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Mobley. Mobley, a screen on Brown. From outside the arc. Doesn't go that time. Tatum looking it over. Garland against Holiday. Brown, a screen on Garland. Shoots from the block. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. Struce with it. Mobley, a screen on Horford. Pass to Mobley. Rebound Boston. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Here's Horford. Let's go with a three. Holiday from long range. Nails it from beyond the arc. Al Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get work done offensively. Brown against Mitchell. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. And he'll head to the line. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. At the line for your Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell, one shot. Mind the length, mind the length, one shot. Just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. Holiday against Garland. It's Brown on the wing. Horford a screen on Struce. Mobley grabs the board. He's got a great defensive mind. He gets good position and affects the release. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art, changing shots without making contact. Outside for Mitchell. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Here's Brown. Drops in the layup for two. Well, I tell you what, speaks to the toughness of Jalen Brown. That frame is strong. Cleveland has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Pass to Mitchell. Outside Struess. Here's Mobley. Struess the pass to Mitchell. Tries a 10-footer. Nice jump shot. Mitchell's got six. See, what a good feel for what the defense is conceding. Donovan Mitchell very willing to get to that mid-range jumper. Holiday finds Brown. White against Mitchell. Back to Brown. Pass to Tatum. There's the three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Tatum has worked very hard 
to improve his finishing game, and that includes sometimes taking contact and earning a trip to the foul line. No good. Jason Tatum continues to emerge, guys, as one of the most elite players on both ends. We know on the offensive end he's a dangerous three-level scorer. He's also capable of locking you up defensively. And he's good on the second. the third and we're about three minutes into this first quarter holiday against Garland pass to Mitchell here's the Kuro Mobley outside and here's Struess outside Mitchell shot clock at five Mobley a screen on Brown from deep Mitchell Mobley no good and so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Garland. The Cavaliers have gone two of six to open up this game. Pass to Struess. Here's Okoro. And here's Mitchell. Six points for him. Mobley. Here's the three. And there's Okoro. That one's good. And the assist by Mobley. This is something they could really use from Okoro, guys. Has to hit enough threes to help stretch that defense. Holiday passes to Brown. Tatum with it. Let's the three fly. Can't hit that one. Well, he tries to answer with a three of his own and can't do it. You can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect. Garland against Holiday. And the shot is good by Garland. Boy, Darius Garland in no mood to be denied on the interior. Go ahead, young sir. Here's White. Still no points. Fires from 14. The rebound by Garland. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Pass to Mitchell. Shoots over Brown. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's White. Ooh, he can't stop the run as that misses. White against Struess. Now Garland. Mobley, a screen on Holiday. Garland for three. Some solid defense from Holiday. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And here's Horford for three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The Cavaliers leading. Now here's Mitchell. Give him eight points now. Pass to Mobley. Garland scanning the floor. Mobley down low. Horford covering. And Mobley gets it to go. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. And Boston calls time here. Lots to talk about here, guys. I mean, losing momentum and looking for answers. I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. He's checked in for Cleveland. Pritchard's checked in for Boston. 
The top scorers in the playoffs on our 2K leaderboard. Second, Jason Tatum. Perfect time to take it to another level offensively. He's really carried them at that end. Horford a screen on Morris. Tatum against Morris. Tatum gets the bucket. Yeah, Jason Tatum's jumper is just so pure. This guy is on point with the midi right now. Morris outside. Pass to Struess. Back to Morris. Six to shoot. Outside Garland. Off target from three-point range. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. There's Tatum with the three. Cavaliers with a rebound. Mitchell finds Morris. Outside Garland. Here's Mobley. <laughs> And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Al Horford. Yeah, the defender at a deficit when Mobley drives it on the interior, forces them to commit the contact. At the line for Cleveland, Evan Mobley. Two shots. And that one misses. Boy, no question. Evan Mobley is brimming with potential. And you love his attitude, his work ethic. This guy, the sky's the limit. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Levert's checked in. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Brown. No good on the second free throw. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by four. Richard the pass to Tatum. Inside. Stolen by Mobley. Down low. White with the steal. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Cornette. He's checked by Levert. The kick to Tatum from behind the arc. Drains the triple. Tatum's got seven points. You know, the ability for Jason Tatum to be ready on the catch. Those opportunities make the game a little bit easier. Morris sets a screen. Let's go with a three. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for your Cavaliers with two shots. Marcus Morris, senior. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Marcus Morris has proven that he can be effective in any system in the NBA, understands his role as a stretch four. Both free throws good from Morris. Here's White, yet to see a basket. Pass to Hauser. Puts up a three. And again, Boston with the triple. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Morris outside. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. That one on Tatum. 
You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Reset. Reset. That free throw, no good. Second free throw is good. And he nails the third. When you think about it, they're trailing in part because they're giving away too many trips to the charity strike. White against Levert. Left block shot on the way. No good. A bit long that time. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Mitchell with the ball. Give him eight. It's hauled in by White. to Hauser. Inside. Outside Tatum. The three. Levert with a rebound. Cleveland has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Now here's Mitchell. Back to Levert. Morris passes to Mitchell. Count that one. Mitchell's got ten points. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. And stolen by Mobley. Struce the pass to Morris. Basket counts. And now it's a six-point Cavalier lead. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Now a timeout called by Boston. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. here for the Celtics. Horford comes in for Cornette and Holiday subbed in for White. on D. Six-point game. Here's Holiday. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Mitchell. A physical guard who plays with no fear. Holiday doesn't get to the line as often as you think.
drops a first. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. So he hits one of two from the strike. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Leading by five. Levert outside. From 11 feet away. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Tatum's got four rebounds now. Puts up a deep three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Now here's Holiday to the middle. And Horford powers it home. Well, what a pleasure to watch Al Horford go to work. Does all the right things and that time gets an easy dunk. Timeout called the Cavaliers. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. A different look for Cleveland. Thompson, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. And it's Merrill in for Struess. the Cavaliers now. It's a three-point game. Levert, after missing his first attempt, now one for two. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Tatum against Morris. Pass to Pritchard. And here's Holiday to the paint. Here's Horford. And it's Merrill who clears it away. Now Levert. There's 42 seconds left in the first. Banked it in off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by seven. They have no answer defensively inside. Horford, a screen on Mitchell. Three-pointer, Holiday. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Here's Merrill. Outside Mitchell. 17 seconds left to play in the first. Top of the key jumper, no good. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. Well, Jason Tatum has worked hard to fill out his frame. It's not going to bother him that you're bringing a level of physicality. The three from Mitchell. And no good. Just a big-time effort for Donovan Mitchell, providing a lot of energy for Cleveland. He put together 10 points in the quarter. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Happy to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. And taking a look at the Cavs' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. The Cavaliers leading. 
taking a look at the Celtics. They've got Peyton Pritchard, Luke Cornett out there with Jason Tatum. Then there's Drew Holiday, and it's Hauser in at the three. Stolen! Now the Celtics on the move. Holiday with the ball. He's picked up by Garland. Holiday passes to Pritchard. His first shot coming late. Jump shot is good that time. Oh, very clever how he creates space against a bigger defender. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. Outside Garland. Beyond the arc. Gets the three to fall. Garland's got five now. No shot is outside my range, or so Darius Garland believes. Tatum finds Holiday. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Hauser, and the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Hauser's got his second basket of the game. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Shot on the wing, and the shot is good by Garland. Seven points in the game. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Tatum inside, Niang's there, and it's Tatum missing. Tatum's gone three of eight tonight from the field. Pass to Niang. Here's Garland. Niang a screen. Garland, the pass to Niang. And he slams it in one-handed. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Here's Cornette, defended by Thompson. Cornette passes to Holiday, and there's the foul. It'll go on Tristan Thompson. That's his first foul of the game, and the Cavaliers making a change here. Mobley's checked in, and the Celtics also making a change. Brown's checked in. Hauser passes to Cornette. Oh, there's the alley! And finished off by Tatum. Wow, how about the long arms and the timing of Jason Tatum on the alley-oop? Nice. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Niang outside. Tatum with a steal. Here's the break. Jumps up. And then Tatum slams it in. Well, you love to see Jason Tatum using his length and athleticism to make plays defensively. That's nice. There's the AT&T 5G slam can, capturing the moment. And here's Levert. Niang outside. Pass to Merrill. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Back to Niang. Clock at six. Levert outside. It's not going to go for him. Tatum with some nice D. The Celtics have gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Here's Hauser. He's checked by LeVert. Now Tatum. 13 points in the game. Right side Garland. Right wing. Here's Merrill. Got a piece of it. And that'll be Cleveland's ball as it goes out of bounds. Cavs keep possession here. Struess, he's checked in for Niang. Number one, Max Struess. Now here's Mobley. Holiday passes to Brown. To the inside. Oh, Tatum taking flight. Now, this is one of the best scorers in the game today. Jason Tatum, we're getting used to performances like this. Mobley, a screen on Holiday. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game.
Here's Struess. No points so far. Pass to Merrill. Now Garland. Five to shoot. Throws it up high. And Mobley throws it down. Of the unspoken communication on the alley. Then Evan Mobley making his teammate look good. Garland against Holiday. Outside Tatum. To the paint. Here's Cornette. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got his fourth rebound in this one. Garland with the ball. He's got seven. Inside. From nine feet out. Mobley, no good. Boston trailing. Tatum passes to Holiday. Pass to Hauser. And here's Brown for three. And again, Boston with the triple. That three-point shooting sets up every aspect of Jalen Brown's game. What a pretty shot. Garland against Holiday. Puts it up from 15. And here's Struess outside. The rebound, Celtics. Tatum's got rebound number seven tonight. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists in the game. And Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. Now here's Levert. Outside Garland. Mobley, a screen on Holiday. Outside Struess. Wide open. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Uh, Darius Garland playing the role of ball distributor to perfection. Pretty pass. Boston calls timeout. Cavaliers. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Hauser. Boston has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Holiday taking his time here. And there's the foul. It's going to belong to Darius Garland. That's his first foul of the game. And Boston has possession. Horford right side. Shot clock at six. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Pritchard's checked in for Drew Holiday. Checking in for the Celtics. Number 11, Peyton Pritchard. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Garland. Just five on the clock. Here's Tatum. Horford for three. The Cavaliers pull it in. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. White with the steal. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. And here's Brown for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got five rebounds in the game. Outside Garland. Mobley throws it down. A beautiful setup on the alley oop. Great catch, great flush. Here's Pritchard. A kick out to White. A three ball. Three pointer goes up, three pointer goes down for White. You have to have a quick release in the catch and shoot game. Otherwise, you allow the defender to catch up. Derek White's like, no, sir, I'm putting this one home. 
And here's Garland. Seven points in the game. With the 10-footer, Horford pulls it in. And it's the Celtics' ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Garland. Got a piece of it. Here they come with numbers in transition. That shot off the mark. Good work defensively by White. Here's Pritchard. He's checked by LaVert. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. LaVert with a rebound. LaVert's got four rebounds now. Pass to Garland. Good work defensively by White. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. That's good from White. We talk about high-effort players. Well, Derek White embodies that very description. Always working hard, always looking to outwork his opponent. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Levert. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for Pritchard. Now here's Holiday. Outside, Brown. Cornette sets the screen. Brown passes to Cornette. Good! And Brown gets the assist. But Jalen Brown getting better and better in pick and roll situations. There's a real willingness to give up the basketball. Brown against Mitchell. Mobley on a screen. The three is up. Rebound Boston. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Pass to Holiday. Mitchell against White. Cornette sets the screen. White the pass to Cornette. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. And now it's a six-point Boston lead. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's Merrill. Pass to Okoro. Six on the shot clock. Mobley outside. Now Garland. He's covered by Holiday. Third foul of the half, and that's the risk you take leaving him out there. Shooting for Boston. Drew Holiday. With the line for two. That's good from Holiday. The Celtics making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Holiday hits them both. And they're now upwards of 80% from the line. A step up from their foul shooting in the first quarter. Cleveland calls timeout. Here's Mitchell. He's got 10. To the middle to stop the trout. Mobley, no good. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. 
down against Mitchell. Cornett sets a screen. Brown passes to Cornett. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. And the first one at the line is good. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Mobley, a screen on Holiday. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Their offense, stone cold. Another miss there. And one of the reasons they're down right now is because they've fallen in love with the jump shot. They get it back. Cornette. And from the field after that one, three for four now. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Brown in the high post. He's got seven. White finds Holiday. There's a minute 26 left in the second period. It's stolen by Garland. Fast break, Cleveland for the finish. And finished off by Garland. That athletic ability is eye-popping. Darius Garland, the steal and the finish. Back to Holiday. Outside White. It's deflected. Brown against Garland. Mobley, a screen on Brown. Mobley up top. 46 seconds left in the half. From outside, Mitchell is good. Boy, right from the opening tip, guys. Mitchell was focused and locked in, and he is doing damage offensively. Pass to White. Here's Cornett. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And the Cavaliers making a change here. The Verts checked in. does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. And here's Mitchell. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. For three. Offensive board. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. That's how you give me a little grittiness from Evan Mobley, not afraid of throwing his weight around right there. Now here's Brown, tightly guarded. Here's the three, Cornette, and that one is hammered home. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown, probably one of his most improved areas. And so it's Boston earning this break in the action, up 10. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We're coming right back, don't go anywhere.
Greetings, everybody. Game three, and it's a huge lead for the Boston Celtics. The second unit is doing some serious damage. So many points coming from their bench. Huge advantage tonight. Mm, calling up the reserves and telling you the others have played like stars. Looking at the series breakdown for the Cavaliers, they were able to take a game on the road, capturing home court advantage. Shaq, how important is game three for them? Well, game three is always huge. They took care of business on the road. Now they have to hit you guys to the big word. Now they have to capitalize on it. Ooh. Well, it won't be easy, but I'm going to make a prediction, guys. You ready? No, but Whoever go ahead. Whoever wins this game three, they win the series. That is bold, Kenny. I sort of like it. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And welcome back, folks, for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Man, is he getting it done today? He's been on a tear so far, throwing down some vicious dunks. I was a little worried for the rim in the first half. Well, his power is unbelievable. An intimidating force when he's at his best. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. Max Struess is out there with Okoro, and it's Mobley in at the five. That's J.B. Bickerstaff's five as we get going in the second half. Now here's Holiday. Tatum inside. The kick out to White. Four on the clock. Over Struess. And the Celtics tack on two more. To me, this is when Derek White is at his most dangerous. When the jumper is falling, it opens up the other aspects of his game. Pass to Mitchell. Outside Struess. Mobley outside. From deep three-point land. It's rebounded by Jalen Brown. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Now Holiday. Here's Cornette. Outside Tatum. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Cleveland shooting around 41%. Mitchell against Brown. Outside Mitchell. Mobley outside. Out to Garland. Pass to Okoro. Now here's Mobley. Jacks up a three. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. Screen by Horford. Right side White. On the wing, Tatum. The three is up. And there's Horford on the assist by Tatum. Horford's got five now. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Oh, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And so the ball out of bounds. Brown touched it last. From deep, Struess. Rough start to the third quarter, but give some credit to the defense they're facing. Brown passes to White. Horford, a screen on Struess. White with it, now guarded by Mobley. Mobley with the block! <laughs> Seven feet sneaking shots past Mr. Mobley is not easy. Send it back, Evan. Mobley, a screen on Holiday. And he lobs it up. Deflects the pass. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Outside Tatum. Shoot. 
so it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. How about the confidence from this young gun? Jason Tatum's length is tough to deal with inside, guys. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. The Cavaliers have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Mitchell finds Mobley. Mobley is screen on Brown. From deep, Mitchell. And another miss by Cleveland. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Tatum, a screen on Garland. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. His fourth turnover tonight. He's got to play more under control. And Mobley has got the ball here for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Knocked away. To win the cold spell. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Holiday. Horford outside. Brown with it. This one for three. And the three-pointer goes. Brown's got 10. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. And here's Mitchell. Fires for three. Yes. And a nice assist from Garland. Donovan Mitchell will answer with his own three. This guy has got a ton of pride and competitiveness. Pass to White. Outside, Brown. Horford with it. Covered by Mobley. Brown against Struess. A nice shot by Brown. Brown's got five points in the quarter. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. Mobley on a screen. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. He's off on that one. Horford with some nice D. Pass to Holiday. From downtown. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Now Struess. And here's Garland. Hounded by Tatum. Holiday against Struess. Back to Garland. Shot clock at six. And stolen by Brown. Now Holiday. Pass to Horford. Back to Holiday. From outside the arc. Drills it from deep. Nine points in the game. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Boston? Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. I think it's also important we have to acknowledge how many scoring opportunities they've created from their spectacular defense, getting a bunch of points off turnovers. Cleveland. Thompson comes in for Evan Mobley. And Karis Levert is subbed in for Garland.
Cleveland has gone just one of five from three point range here in the third quarter. Thompson a screen on Holiday. Levert passes to Okoro. Outside Mitchell. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. Pass to Okoro. Struce against White. On the wing, Mitchell. Down to five on the shot clock. Knocks it down from distance. Mitchell's got six here in the quarter. He's hit four now from behind the arc. Two in each half, making an impact. White for three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Struce has got four rebounds now. Levert passes to Thompson. Horford with the block. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. Holiday against Mitchell. Tatum a screen on Mitchell. Holiday from long range. He's rebounded by Okoro. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Outside Struess. Pass to Levert. Thompson with a screen. Pulls it from the top of the key. Boston with a rebound. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Outside White. Exactly what good offensive players do. Lean into that defender. A level of physicality puts you at the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. White hits them both. Now here's Levert. Outside Mitchell. Launches a three. Boston with a rebound. Holiday's got his fourth rebound in this one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one on Mitchell. Shooting two. That's good from Holiday. Holiday hits them both. This Cavs squad is struggling. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Okoro. There's the triple. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Okoro's got six. You love how hard Okoro works for his team and makes himself right there a good option in the catch and shoot game. And Boston calls time here. Here for the Celtics. Hauser, he's checked in for Tatum. 
And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. So it's Brown with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. 22 was their biggest lead. With the floater. Donovan Mitchell with the board. And Cleveland shooting only 39% so far in the game. White against LeVert. Back to Mitchell. Shoots over Brown. That went a little long. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Down low. Horford, right side. White against LeVert. Clock at six. Let's it go from deep. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the one three, but that was back in the first half. From deep, Mitchell. The rebound, Celtics. Here's Pritchard. Outside White. Fires from deep. He's rebounded by Okoro. Boy, he cannot get anything to fall, but the teammates, boy, have they delivered. Floats one. Yes, it's good. Mitchell's got 21. Boy, the floater game from Donovan Mitchell is effortless, folks. Here's Pritchard. Checked by Mitchell. It's Brown on the wing. Fires the three. Levert with a rebound. Levert's got five rebounds tonight. Outside for Mitchell. There's the three. Again, the miss by Mitchell. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Pass to White. Here's Hauser to get back on track. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mitchell's got four rebounds now. Levert up top. Thompson outside. Now here's Mitchell, defended by Brown. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Just five to shoot. From deep, Struess. He drops it from range. Struess has got five now. Uh, Donovan Mitchell showing off that great vision. And Boston has possession. They lead by 14. Pritchard, the pass to Hauser. There's a minute 54 left in the third quarter. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Struess. With the drive. Outside for Levert. Pass to Thompson. Outside Struess. Just five on the clock. The Cavaliers, another three. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Brown with it. 12 points for him. Up top, Horford. Back to Brown. White on the wing. Horford, a screen on Levert. White finds Horford. Over Levert. Boston, no good that time either. Oh, Grant, they're on a nice run right now. Yeah, offensively, they're making things look easy. Thompson, a screen on Brown. Thompson against White. Thompson passes to Mitchell. Off target from outside. Boston shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Downtown, Jalen Brown. Now, Jalen Brown gets his feet set in the catch and shoot and just drills it. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. 
Here's Mitchell. Man, that one's good. Mitchell's got 10 points in the quarter. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try and keep them alive. And here's Brown. He's got 15. The fader. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Celtics. They lead by 12. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. And welcome back to our coverage of game three on 2K Sports. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum, they're the forwards. Peyton Pritchard is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Cornette in at the five, roaming the paint. And he comes up with a bucket. Well, this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. Now here's Thompson. Back to Garland. Thompson, a screen on Holiday. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Uh, Thompson, he has such a low, wide base. He is near impossible to fully box out. Brown scanning the floor. Off the mark there with a three. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Mitchell finds Garland. Struce with it. Thompson outside. Pass to Garland. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists tonight. Well, if you are a point guard like Darius Garland at his size, you've got to be able to get into that mid-range bag. Very well done. Now here's Tatum. That's miss number seven out of 14 attempts. Garland against Brown. Garland, the pass to Thompson. Back to Garland. Mitchell with the ball. Let's a floater go. Good. Mitchell's got 25 points. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet to the paint. And finished off by Tatum. I love the Jason Tatum not settling for a jumper. He goes to the rim with authority. Outside Mitchell. Back to Garland. To the middle. Here's Thompson. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Tatum passes to Holiday. Here's Tatum. Covered by Strews. Pass to Brown. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You have to have the ability to force the defense to commit. One way or the other, Jalen Brown's aggressiveness does just that. Shooting two. Free throw good. Brown. Mobley, he's checked in for Cleveland. Okoro comes in for Struess. And the Celtics also making a change. White, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. And 
And that's good as he hits both shots. Here's Mitchell. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. A step back shot. And he nails the jumper. Mitchell's got 14 points here in the second half. Well, this guy's so consistent and staying engaged on the offensive end. Is Mitchell a shoot first guard? You bet. Pritchard pass to Brown. They double team Brown. Ooh, they pick off the pass. Pass to Mitchell. Now Levert defended by Brown. Brown against Levert. Garland for three. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Ooh, rocket finish from Tatum. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. And it's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. Pass to Mobley. Looking to end this cold spell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. This is why it's hard guarding Evan Mobley at times. This guy, when he's aggressive, forcing defenders to match his energy. Throw good, Mobley. He's perfect from the line this time. The Celtics have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Here's Pritchard. Outside Tatum to the inside. How about Jason Tatum with a little pocket pass in the pick and roll? That's nice. The Cavaliers have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Pass to Mitchell. Mitchell on the drive. Outside for Levert. Takes the three. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Mitchell's got three assists now in this one. White against Mitchell. Left side, Brown. They double team Brown. Here's Cornette. And the foul called on Evan Mobley. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Well, picked up his fourth foul. Maybe have to scale back his aggressiveness with plenty of time left in this one. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for White. Tatum passes to Holiday. Back to Tatum. Here's Brown. The shot misses. Ooh, Levert with some nice D. Mitchell against Brown. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Jalen Brown picks one up. What you love about Donovan Mitchell is he's already proven that in the playoffs he is willing to be a go-to scorer. He's committed to improving his game. He's got to continue to work at the defensive end of the floor. Makes a first. Mm -hmm. 
That one falls, so he hits both of them. They're doing some good work at the line this half. The Celtics with the lead. Now Brown. Horford outside. Takes a three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Takes a step back. Mitchell, the pass to Okoro. Five on the clock. Back to Mitchell. Mitchell, double team. Pass to Levert. The three. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Mitchell's got his fourth assist with that last one. Well, you cannot allow Karis Levert to square up from deep. When he's in rhythm, he's going to knock down that shot with great consistency. Now here's Tatum. Three-pointer. Boston, no good that time either. This lead is up for grabs. Yeah, each possession has an importance. Levert finds Mitchell. Now Mobley. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Okoro. From deep. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got rebound number 11. Brown passes to Horford. And Horford powers it home. And you love to see the aggressiveness. Using the height advantage to hammer it home. It's Cleveland calls timeout. in for Levert and keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. Hey team, I was able to catch the message that J.B. Bickerstaff was giving to his team. He wants his team to be careful with the ball. He's not happy with the amount of turnovers they've coughed up so far. He believes if they focus on being more patient on offense, that will help cut down on the giveaways. Guys, back to you. Ali, thank you. So it's the Cavaliers now. Now here's Mitchell. Let's the three fly. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. He continues to let it fly, but the makes have been few and far between. Tipped away. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Garland to three. Hits the trifecta. Garland's got five points now in the quarter. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Holiday finds Tatum. Back to Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Clock at four. Tatum. Tip back in for two. Tatum's got 24 points. Well, you love to see a great score. Create an easy opportunity. Jason Tatum gets a second chance points right there. From deep Mitchell. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. <laughs> I just love the ball. Move. Here's Pritchard. Checked by Mitchell. Outside Tatum. Launches it from deep. Oh, count it! Tatum hits from way out. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Holiday against Garland. From deep, Mitchell. That shot is off. Nice D from Brown. Boston's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Pass to Tatum. Brown, screen on Garland. There's Tatum with the three. Out to the wing is Pritchard. Another one falls for Boston. And it's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. They trail by seven. Outside Mitchell. Mitchell down low. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Holiday against Garland. Tries it from 19. Tatum gets the bucket. 
Tatum's got 11 points in the quarter. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And the shot is good by Garland. Oh, I'll tell you what, in this fourth quarter, he's been locked in and has made some big shots for his team. And Boston calls time here. On defense, the Cavaliers. Brown passes to Holiday. Back to Brown. Six to shoot. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Oh, how about White from the next time zone? He's not always assertive on the catch, but Derek White rise and fire from three-point, and it is on target. Here's Mitchell. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. At the line for Cleveland. Jonathan Mitchell. Two shots. free throw is good. Both free throws good for Mitchell. He showed a lot of composure that trip to the line. Now it's almost a one possession game. Holiday against Garland. The shot by Holiday, no good. Cleveland has gone four of eight from three point land during the fourth. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. When Donovan Mitchell is this close to the cup, the defender has got to feel a bit uneasy. Two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. He drops the first one. And that brings him within five. Both free throws good for Mitchell. You must embrace the pressure and knock down critical free throws. Nicely done. 144 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. How impressive has he been tonight? Battling inside in the trenches. Okoro passes to Garland. Here's Okoro, hounded by Tatum. 
Pass to Struess. Clock at six. Now here's Mitchell. Garland for three. Boston with a rebound. Tatum's absolutely tenacious guy. Stuck right on him defensively. Bothered that shot. Struess the pass to Mobley. Over Horford. And Mobley with the basket. On the assist by Struess. How about the young big man Evan Mobley coming through in the clutch? We see you, young sir. Tatum passes to Horford. Now Holiday. Outside Tatum. Pass to Brown. Fires the three. Money from deep. Oh, Jalen Brown with the big shot proving hard work pays off. Cleveland shooting at 45% on the game so far. Cleveland calls timeout. They're trailing by five. 51 seconds left to play in the fourth. Mitchell. Mobley is screen on Brown. The three from Mitchell. Boston with a rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. And here's Boston. It's a five-point game. Here's Horford. And Horford powers it home. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. And there are guys who live for these moments. Donovan Mitchell in the house. And now we've got an intentional foul. Puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. Time called here. The Cavs decide to talk it over. They trail by six. 27 seconds left to play in the fourth. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Mobley finds Mitchell. Here's Akuro. Three-pointer. It falls! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! Man, if he can hit jumpers consistently, Okoro can play a long time in this league. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. Take a break. Take a break. Two 
He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Yeah, Coach has to love that it's Tatum at the line. He's such a clutch performer. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Coming up clutch there at the line, making it a two-possession game. Here's Mitchell. Boston with a rebound. And an intentional foul right there. Donovan Mitchell is fourth. Teams in the penalty. At the line for the Celtics, Jalen Brown, two shots. Shooting two. Good on the first, and that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Garland finds Mitchell. Oh, he's way off from outside. So we see the Celtics get the win here. And this is a critical win for them. They grab the lead in the series after splitting the first two games. Yeah, game three feels like a game seven if the series is tied. It has a huge impact. They're in the driver's seat now as long as they don't lose their focus. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thank you very much. Jalen, you had it going. Can you talk about the confidence you had tonight? I'm just trying to continue to show people what I could do, continue to get better. Um, it's a long journey. It's a process. I still got a long way to go and a lot to learn. So I'm going to just keep going up. It's all part of the journey. Thanks, Jalen. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum.